welcome everybody. I'm Carla Jerome. I'm my Mark sidekick. Yes. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Carla and I, yeah. get our two cents in. <laughs> I've been with the company forever. Um, Grace is my mom, um, I, who loves quilting. She, she's a little girl. She saw her mother quilting all the time. And so it was just kind of something that she instilled in her daughters and her son. So my brother Jim started the company years and years ago. He wanted something to do. So my mom suggested that he make a quilting frame. And my brother, he's quite... He's quite a genius, I have to say. He designed a quilting frame, kind of patterned after a quilting frame that my grandpa designed that my mom remembered. And and that's kind of how the story started. Uh, the company started years and years ago, and we started with hand quilting frames, and now we've moved to machine quilting frames and quilting machines and accessories and how it's so much fun to be a part of a company that isn't just a job. It's something that I love and I enjoy meeting new quilters. So that's a little bit about me and the evolution of the company. And so let's turn the time over to Nathan. Here uh, on, on the side out back a little bit, Nathan Erznosnik. And again, uh, welcome. Um, I just want to kind of throw a shout out to everybody who's joining us. Um, what we would encourage you if you by chance happen to have any friends out there that are in the quilting world, and I know there are many, um, a few different things. We're going to go through part of this agenda, but I would invite you to send them a share, uh, invite them to come and join us today. Um, we're going to be talking first off about a few things pertaining to uh, the Fantastic Fall Festival, but again, we're excited to have everybody. I, I do know we have people, as Mark was mentioning, uh, several people. If you you can add comments, we would love to see you know you participating in part of that. If you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, uh, again, uh, uh, send a a link, a share out to somebody to have them come and join us. Um, we've got a lot of wonderful things. So again, Nathan Erznosnik here at the Grace Company. I've had a great opportunity to be uh, here with the Grace Company and part of this family for 14 years. And it's been wonderful. I've had a chance to travel the world and see quilters all over. And again, welcome quilters from, from all over uh, for joining us today. It's something we put a lot of time in. And maybe before we go back to Mark and Carl, I just want to uh, put a shout out. There's been a lot of individuals, uh, both educators and individuals out there who've helped us uh, manage part of this. We have all of our behind the scenes team. Um, you would imagine that putting together a, a multi-day, which we'll be doing four days of streaming um, activity. Um, and we'll look again at that schedule, but there's been a lot of efforts from everybody. So again, I wanted to thank all of those people who've had a chance to help participate. And again, a lot of you for joining us. Thanks. And the quilts. I know this morning we looked, uh, Mark and Carla, we had over 1,300 quilts. That's pretty exciting. I think 1,350 and it continues to rise. I'm going to go ahead and take everybody and share with everybody the agenda. What, what kind of is going on? What to expect today? Um, give you a couple insights um, I would like to share with you as well. Um, regarding um, uh, ways so that you know how to kind of submit your quilt and doing a few other things with this. So uh, what you're looking at here, this is if you were to go to Grace Frame's main website, um, you're going to find that we have an easy way of simply selecting up top here, the Fantastic Fall Festival. And again, I believe most of you have been here. A lot of you have registered and you've had a chance to be invited to part of this event. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of move down part of the event schedule today. And as we do this, you're going to look and see that there's a lot of different things um, you can go through here and you can check and notice um, and see what the schedule is. You can look at the different live components. We've been in a great spot to have a lot of the individuals who are participating, a lot of the uh, workshops, uh, some live interviews, a couple panel pieces that have been pre-recorded as well. Um, busy people and also we have some international people from some different time zones. So, And then you can see one of those workshops. I'm going to kind of move through today. Uh, this is where we're at with part of the launch um, introduction here with what Grace Company has. And um, as we look through this, we're going to come around at 12 o'clock today. And at 12 o'clock, we have Leah Day. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about her when we get there, but she is going to share some very interesting perspectives from herself. It's room to grow, evolution of her quilting career. And I um, have had a chance to work with Leah Day now for a few different years, and it's been absolutely wonderful to be able to um, uh, see uh, how she's continued to move through her career and her life and her quilting and as it's continued to evolve. Um, we're going to continue. We're going to do some live product overviews. And um, as I kind of bring this up, it's interesting to me that 
when we do this, we, we find that we have more and more people who tend to ask questions, even though we've reviewed some things in a little detail, we're going to spend a little bit more time um, on this amazing frame that allows you to convert any domestic machine into a quilting system. And I always like to tease it's your machine's best friend. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We have our big giveaway we're doing at two o'clock and this is a big giveaway. Um, we have a lot of giveaways. We've also had four different weeks of some additional ones. Today is a big one. We are going to be giving away a 15 R and we're also going to be giving that away on a Q-Zone hoop frame. So we're giving a quilting system away today to a lucky winner. And again, I would like to encourage you to continue to sign up to win. Um, we have several other gifts here over the next uh, couple of weeks. And then we also have our big grand prize that we're going to be giving away here at the end on November 6th, which is going to be a 19 inch quilting long arm on a frame with automation. And so it's a complete system that we have. Uh, some of you, if you're professional quilters, um, well, we have people refer to this kind of as a business in a box. I like to call it a, it's your home studio system if you're just at home quilting. Um, so that's a great opportunity to uh, have a chance to participate and win. But later on this afternoon, we're going to be having another chance to hear um, a little bit of an intro. Um, Lee Day will be doing a, a multi-day class talking a little about the automated side of quilting. And it's called our Autumn Quilt Along, part of a basket process. Um, we're going to then be walking through and looking at a lot of the different quilts that everybody's had a chance to submit. We're going to have some conversations about those. should be incredibly fun and enjoyable. And at the end of the day, um, as we get through part of this, we get to hear from uh, Leslie Ruthen Rutland, one more of our ambassadors, and she's going to share a little bit, uh, calling her the Yoda of sewing. And so that kind of gives you an understanding of what we're looking at today. If you can't stay with us the entire time, we're going to encourage you to come back because we will be live streaming it. We do have a slight break that we'll be putting in here this afternoon, and then we're going to come back online. Um, and then we're looking for your feedback. So as we continue to move through this process and as we continue uh, hopefully to learn from you and we'll hopefully be able to answer many of your questions as we move throughout this day as well. And then we're going to do a couple of giveaways here this morning with those that are live, which we're excited about. Um, we've got several True Cut products. So this whole show would be uh, sponsored by, I would say, Grace Company and True Cut, but, uh, and all of our great, wonderful participants who are out there. We would encourage you, if you haven't already had a chance to uh, enter your quilt in, again, it's very open. We love it. We're doing a couple giveaways. We're looking at a first, second, and third in each one of these categories, and then a participant from everybody. Uh, it's going to be just chosen by the one that has the most votes for it. And I'll just kind of show you easy, uh, quickly how easy this is to work. But as you go down, you're going to see there's the gallery, and we have several different areas to enter your quilts into. Hall of Shame, unfinished quilts, uh, projects that are partially done. We have Wild Imaginations, the holiday quilts, which I am excited to look a little bit more at what those are. The Surprise and the Oops quilts. I always talk uh, about this with Carla and thinking that quilts tend to, you might have a quilt or two that actually changed size during part of your process. And then something that you maybe weren't even thinking of. Uh, maybe it was a good or a bad thing in the Oops side. Uh, blood, Sweat and Tears. I know I've had a chance to talk with many quilters out there um, and uh, you know it's a dedication of love as well um, who've worked on quilts over an extended period of time i feel fortunate i do and i have received a quilt from my my wife's grandmother that was hand done um, which we cherish and so that's been a a great gift to have received and i don't know how long she uh, worked through that but i know it, it's hours and it's months and it could be even years. So that's a, been a, a blessing for me to be able to have such a quilt. Uh, we have made from scraps is another one. So these are a couple key things. I'm going to go into one of these um, here. Just let's go into this wild imagination. I want you to look at this so you can kind of see really easy. You can just submit your quilt by clicking on this submit up top. Um, also, we want to encourage you to invite friends or family members to also vote for you. And you can do that. It's pretty easy if you go into uh, the quilt right here, you can simply email, uh, copy a link and share this with anybody you'd like to come in. And then right now it looks like this one's been voted for. So you can go ahead and vote. Um, you'll notice that at the bottom, um, this just has a name on it, but several of those quilts, you can also see that there's sometimes are stories behind some of those quilts. And so it gives you a little bit, this one's made with batik fabrics, uh, with a minky back. Um, so again, I just wanted to kind of let you can see here is one of the votes that's an option open here at the top. And again, you can vote for them uh, multiple times. So we're going to encourage um, you to invite your friends. If they don't have quilts, then have them support you in voting for this. Again, we've got uh, a couple different things that we have as far as some giveaways that will be selected again by you. And we're going to kind of keep the number of votes that have been submitted a little bit 
behind the scenes until the last day, and then we'll reveal how many votes what quilts have as part of that. We also have down at the bottom, there are several other questions that people ask, and so feel free to browse this information. Um, one is the deadline to enter um, part of the show and tell, and again, we're going to keep this running throughout the entire event. Um, the content, how are they judged? So I'm going to let you look at some of those additional details, but I wanted to point that out. That's a fun one. We are coming back to that here later on this afternoon as we're going to view several quilts from several of the different categories um, as we're doing that. And at the end, um, we're not going to spend much time here, but we would encourage you to look at the different promotions. Um, we talked about doing a demonstration here a little bit later on um, with our Q-Zone hoop frame and that particular product is one of those that is on sale currently as well for $8.89 and we're including some accessories, a, a free light bar with that one and any of the frames. But again, this is what you can do. You can look in, and shop and find out a few more bits of details and information by uh, clicking that top link up here on the right hand side. Uh, with that, what I'd like to do, even though we're maybe having a, a few things on the audio channels, I'm gonna bring Mark and Carla back up on the screen. And what we're going to do is, uh, I know we've been talking about, um, let me go ahead and remove this. We're kind of back here, full screen, Mark and Carla. Um, one of those key things we're looking at is to have some participation from those people who are live. Um, we have several people with us now. And as these comments go through too, we're gonna randomly choose a couple people. Uh, you'll notice um, maybe um, if we can go to the camera closer with Mark there, um, you can see that he has a will um, <clears throat> as part of that is. And uh, he's gonna be able to spin that will and we're gonna give that person um, now, Two things. One is for the main contest, our, our big giveaways. We are going to be shipping those throughout the world um, for the winners who are participating. The ones today, the live giveaways will be for the contiguous 48. So the 48 states. Um, um, keeping it simple. Thanks for, for uh, going along with us on this. But we'll give those away today to the people here within the 48 continental states. Um, and we'll be sending them the gifts out here. But what we'll do is we'll draw a name. We'll spin a wheel for you. You'll get that prize. We'll talk a little bit about what that prize is, and we're going to ask you to send in your information, your name, and um, a contact to sales at graceframe.com. What we're going to do, let's go ahead, Mark. I'm going to have you get excited for me over there. <laughs> and Carla. And so before we do so, let's see if there's a, a key question. Um, that I'd like to throw out today. And now this is an interesting one. You can look on your site if you have, if you have this, but I'm, we're going to have um, a couple key speakers today. If you would go ahead and post, the first person to post one of the names of the key speakers, we're gonna go ahead and pull this up right now. So we're looking for a key speaker that's gonna be with us today um, on our site. So we're gonna see here, what do we've got? I'm looking, waiting for somebody to put a comment oh, in. We can hear Carla now. Leah Day. There we go. We actually have, we're going to put this up here. This is the first one. Melody Cole. I'm going to say Melody. Okay. So Mark, let's see what this winning prize is going to be. And it is what, Mark? Read that out for us. Finesse Thread. Finesse Thread. Okay. So this is the Finesse Thread winner. Now, what this is is uh, Mark, you want to go ahead and bring that maybe a little closer to camera three for us all so you can show them what's inside the box. We're doing a four pack of finesse thread. So Grace Company, we do have amazing thread. It is a what we call a three ply uh, soft polyester thread. It's 1500 yard spools or cones. And we've made these very specifically. They do work good for sewing. You'll notice that most quilting threads are right around 40 weight. This one looks and acts like that, but it's a little bit lighter. A little more forgiving so let's bring that up to the camera here let's let's bring one up let's get that closer mark bring one of those up here i want to see what that looks like in front of the camera here because it looks let's show us some of the top take a put them on the box maybe and show us the different colors this looks like it's a four pack of variegated threads uh normally they're uh 9.95 so this is about a 40 dollars value we're going to go ahead and send to melody cole tilt it up a little bit higher there there we go these are our four most popular Finesse thread colors, by the way, on the variegated side. So we're excited to be sending this to you. Again, get in contact with sales at graceframe.com. Mark, let's go back and let's choose another name here. Um, let's see, because we did Leah, and I was going to find out who was the first one who mentioned Leslie. And what we have is Linda Childers. Welcome. I'm going to say congratulations because we're going to have Mark spin the wheel for you and see. Now, Mark, on this wheel, uh, what do we have? We have 
rotary blade sharpeners. We have rotary cutters. Do we have an electric sharpener on there as well? Yeah, the electric sharpeners. Electric sharpeners. So we have all sorts of uh, items. Do we by chance have a quilters combo would be something I'm not sure if we have yes. on there. No, quilters yeah. combo. Uh, so let's go ahead and zoom in on that wheel and mark again, spinning this for Linda. Let's go ahead and give this a spin for Linda. And Mark, go ahead and shout out to me what we have. Let's do it. Is let's it the same? It. Yes, the same. Okay, let's go ahead and we can spin it again, unless she wants the threads, but we've got a lot of different things up there. The linear, linear sharpener. Mark, why don't you go ahead and pull that out and let's show some people in the camera there. This is, let's keep that close up on there so we can see that. So this is a rotary blade sharpener that does work with most all brand on the cutters. And it has a, a, a diamond grit stone. And what we do is we can move that back and forth and rotate it to sharpen both sides of your blades to bring them back to a near factory edge. And I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail. A lot of people ask, you know, does it really work or how does it work? And we always like to talk about it. It absolutely does. And the reason why is we're using a process that people have known forever, which is honing. So you take the stone, you take that blade and you rub that blade against that stone until that blade matches to shine to sharpen that right back up and so we will go ahead and we're going to send you out that linear sharpener as well let's go do ahead one more um i'm going to go ahead and ask another question really quick we're also doing another giveaway a big giveaway this afternoon what is the giveaway that we're going to be doing at two o'clock today what is that big giveaway will be the first one person to answer with that answer we're going to go ahead um I'm just going to read a couple comments as I'm waiting to see who brings up what that answer is going to be here today. So love to be in Houston. We have some people from Houston, some congratulations coming through. Thank you. Here we go. The giveaway. I see a frame on there. I see a 15. That's part of it. There we go. This is the first winner we're going to put on there. Sherry Linton hoop frame and the 15 R. This is the giveaway. And with this, Mark, I'm going to go ahead and have you do another spin on behalf of Sherry Linton. And Sherry, uh, again, I'm going to ask that you email sales at graceframe.com for your win. Give it a good spin. Let's see what she by chance is going to win today. Or maybe a light spin. Here, this is Sherry. This is this is her arm going. Oh, 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 oh. What, what is it again? More finesse thread? Finesse thread. So let's do that, and we're going to add something to it if we can get something else. So we're going to give you a four-pack of finesse threads. We'll give you the solid pack of threads. One more. Okay, do a light one here. See what we can get. I feel like it's rigged. Is it rigged? It should be rigged. Oh, oh. True grips. True grips. So show us what are the true grips. Everybody has probably heard. In fact, throw a smiley face if you've heard of true grips. It is our number one selling true cut item. This are These are these little pads, super thin, that you can put on the back of any of your rulers while you're cutting to keep them in place. And I've heard people put them on more than just the rulers. Um, but I think let's do a, a, let's do a set of, uh, of six. What I like to do is we have two of our standard true grips. Two of our Apple grips for they're a little bit different in shapes and great for applique and other type of things. And then let's do two um, also of our newer ones. Which ones do you have there on the top? That's our uh, our Sue Palin. So we've got two. We're going to do two of the Sue Palin. So we'll give you an additional six true grips that we're going to throw in as part of that, along with the finesse threads. So we're going to give you the four solid, uh, our, our most popular solid colors of finesse threads, and we'll do six of those true grips to Sherry and Linton. Mark, why don't you review some of the true cut items that we're using as part of the giveaway right now? Yeah, let's look at some. Nathan had just asked me to look at some of the true cut items that we're giving away. I'm going to come over here to, uh, to this box right here, and then we also have some right here. But we have uh, our true sharp sharpener. That's our electric sharpener. We also have our quilters combo, and what comes in this package is a 45 comfort cutter, true grips, and the very popular six and a half by 24 and a half ruler. We also have a circle cutter. Oh, wow. Right? And if you notice, when Nathan is on camera, there is a circle quilt that Carla made <laughs> with this circle cutter. Yes. <laughs> and if those who ever thought about doing uh, circles mm -hmm. and they have a tool that's not really working, this one is fantastic, and that's what you use on your right. quilt. Right, the so, prototype. Yes. <laughs> um, we also have our rotary cutters. We right. have uh, the three sizes: are 28, 45, and 16. This one right here is our 60 millimeter, and we do have our 45. Um, millimeter cutter as well. So 
uh, rulers. We have many different sizes of rulers. Um, it's as ergonomic. Well. The comfort cutter is ergonomic, so it really does help with the strain and the stress on your wrist, on your shoulders. So make Absolutely. sure that you check that out on our website as well, so you can see all the nice features. Absolutely. And these are on our with our spinning wheel here. So when we land on them, um, we'll have these to to give away. So that's that's fantastic. Mark and Carl, I thought I would bring up a couple things here quickly on uh, the site as well so people can kind of take a look at this briefly. I'm going to kind of just scroll through a little bit here what you're looking at. Mark was talking about several of the different things that we have. Um, with this, uh, you know, we have a couple key pieces. Again, I don't want to spend a lot of time. This is not really what we're here for, but I'll tell you as prizes and awards, uh, Mark keeps on encouraging Nathan, what else can we give away? What else can, we, how do we do this? He wants a buzzer sound and say, Hey, we're going to give away more stuff right now. So, so we're looking hopefully to be able to do that, but, um, it should be pretty exciting. Um, I just want to quickly share a brief history, um, as we kind of step out and as we started de designing tools, um, really our entire grace company history has been involved around, uh, supporting the quilter and their needs. And usually what we find is that there are these big gaps or these holes as far as how things work, uh, difficulties, challenges, frustrations. And what our goal is, is how do we solve those frustrations? And so like this cutting system specifically, you know, there are these patented components that when they're combined, make this amazing cutting system. So it has this ruler and this track that lock those two things together that keep them engaged all the way down. Uh, Mark mentioned with the ergonomics on the cutter, uh, not your standard cutter, but it does cut like a straight cutter. However, the ergonomics that have been designed into it solve a lot of those challenges in your wrists, in your thumbs, in your elbows, et cetera. And so again, as we go through, we're super excited to be able to give some of these uh, away as prizes, the electric sharpener, uh, that electrically, you know, you can spin your blades and hone those blades back in. Um, so we have a whole lot of things that are going on with this. And so again, thanks for the the chance that we have in order to kind of talk a little bit more about uh, part of that process and what we have is, is some of the giveaways uh, today, along with our bigger ones we're going to do later. Um, maybe we can talk briefly, Mark and Carla, on some of the things that we have done as giveaways. I actually have a couple pictures maybe I can quickly pull up um, from those who've joined us in the past. We've had several winners now over the last four weeks. We've had some combinations of uh, threads and cutters. We've given away um, a few other things. We've also had a chance of, of, of giving away a Q-Zone hoop frame last week. Um, so we've already had a, a lucky winner win one of those Q-Zone frames. Um, and we're excited to, get, to continue to look at what we can do to give away things this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this back over to the, the two of us again as we move through this. And what I'd like to do um, is, is, Carla, I'm going to go back into the quilt piece here just for, for a short moment. And um, I'm going to bring a couple things up instead of me on the screen that I would love to, to kind of show again. Uh, the group as a whole regarding uh, some of the different pictures and some of the different images that are there. And then Carla, maybe you could just share a little bit more again on part of your excitement on having people participate with, with part of the, 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 the quilt show and tell piece. So let me get this pulled up for everybody. Give yeah. me just a moment yeah. here. I am astounded to see how many of you have answered your beautiful quilts. And there's not one that is ugly because you made it. And I just am so excited. It, it means a lot. It almost is, um, it's hard to say uh, how much it means. I can see my sweet mom smiling down on us and very excited about where this company has gone and and all of you wonderful quilters because it's something that she's so proud of and so happy. So yeah, you, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for being a part of our fantastic fall festival and entering your quilts and joining us. Mark, any thoughts from you on, on that as well? I know you mentioned briefly, I don't know how much you heard at the beginning um, on part of your background with your wife uh, now having her, her beautiful stash of fabric in your home. And, um, <laughs> yeah. The stash that grows, The right? stash that grows. Um, <laughs> like many of your quilters know that it continues to grow. But one thing that I really, you know, love is my little daughter. She, oh, you yeah, know, Annie. So Annie, yeah, she she made a, a 
several quilts, you yes. know, small quilts, and she actually pieced them and quilted them all herself. How old is she, Mark? She's only nine. Yes. So that's fantastic. And she all did it. Um, she did it with uh, my wife. And, you know, my wife uh, has a Cunic machine, which yeah. we'll talk about uh, a little bit here, but the Cunic machine. Um, and it's just fantastic. And so, yes, just like Carla said, all these wonderful quilts. There's not a bad quilt. And in fact, my wife mentions, you know, when you make a mistake on the quilt, that's that kind of is is more meaning, I guess, to her because she it's did a it good herself. Story, at yes. least. <laughs> she did it herself, and the mistakes are not. And I keep telling her, no one's ever going to see the mistakes but you. And and so keep that in mind for those who are new to quilting. Um, the mistakes is what makes your quilt um, fantastic. And so hopefully, even those types of quilts, as Nathan mentioned earlier, there's tons of categories. So have them submitted. Um, so many talented ladies right. and men. And quilting is not just gender specific. So yes, but super excited. Wow. Super excited. Look at all these quilts coming oh, out. So they're just fantastic, and a lot of work. You know, a lot of lot of work. And I love the quilts. uniqueness of each of the quilts. That's what's fun. Is it's you. That's your personality. That's time that you put into it. That's your perspective. And that's what makes this this show so fun is is that unique talent that you put I uh, brought to the table for Abs quilting. Absolutely. Um, let's go ahead and um, get it back. Uh, with that, I thought maybe I'd just go back and do a quick recap here. We're getting close to uh, getting with Leah Day and having her share with us um, some of her information that she had as part of her her, her story and her um, history. She's gone through some of the sewing, but I did want to go back really quick here. And I thought I would just point out on the screen just a recap for those who have joined us after we started as part of the information. If you look at, at the top, um, once we get here, if we're going to get to graceframe.com. The first banner we see here on the main website is the one that goes to the Fantastic Fall Festival. You'll notice at the top that there is a schedule that goes along that entire header so that if you want to know what's coming up, what's next, uh, like today we have the list of everything that's happening um, as far as the time frames today are concerned. And so you'll see that we've got the countdown clocks going through. There's a, a synopsis of what we're going to be doing. Um, right next to that at the top is the quilt show and tell. So if you would like to enter your quilt in, this is where we would go again. You're going to see that there is some information about the different prizes for each category at the bottom. These are where you can go view all the quilts that have been submitted. Um, but you can hit enter here to submit your quilt. Again, I'm going to scroll down a little bit farther and I want everybody to see. I'm going to click on one of these categories just as a reminder. If you've submitted something and you want somebody to vote for you, if you come in on your quilt itself and we go into it, you can copy, you can send uh, an email, you can Facebook and send a friend. You can see someone's already voted for this, but you can click to vote for it. Um, and, and what we're looking for is invite your friends to come through and vote as well um, so um, they have a chance to have your uh, wonderful quilt voted for. So again, we're going to have three winners for each category that we have as a whole. And outside of those three categories, everybody who participates gets their name and a hat uh, for a drawing on a chance to win the $500 um, cash giveaway that we're, we're doing for everybody for participating. I'm guessing if we were to go check, we're probably over 1,400 quilts, and we want to encourage you to continue to enter those as we go throughout this, this event in this fall festival over the next few weeks. Let me talk a little bit about the schedule today. Um, we are sitting on the 20th of October. We do have another streaming event we're going to be doing uh, most of the day, starting at 11 o'clock Mountain Standard Time next Tuesday as well. And that does run the entire, uh, the entire day. And we have several other things happening um, on those particular days. We also will be streaming live um, again the following Tuesday in November. We're looking at November third um, will be the next one. And then we're actually going to be do our fourth streaming day on November 6th. Um, happy birthday to me on November 6th and happy birthday to Courtney, who we just saw behind the scenes here a little ago. She was a little surprised. So was I, but we wanted to make sure we're all up and all up and running here with the audio. So um, with that, again, we're, we're glad for everybody to participate, but you can go through and look at what is coming up um, with those top pieces. And in the last one, Mark mentioned that there are a lot of different things that we have as far as promotional items that are going to be giving away. I mean, that are available to purchase. And I thought maybe just really quickly, I know this isn't a fun piece, but I do want to share it because it is a fantastic price right now for what we have going on, 
with the Fantastic Fall Festival. Mark mentioned that in lieu of the big fall event that we normally go to, um, we wanted to go ahead and bring some additional content to the quilting world and all of you. So thank you. And we also wanted to bring our show promotional specials as well. So the Q-Zone Hoop Frame, which we'll be demonstrating a little uh, later this afternoon, we have two versions of those. And you'll notice that those are on sale once for $889. The professional version is on sale for $1,189. Um, we have other frames, an eight foot frame and our professional series frames that are also on sale. And I wanted just to really quickly get into this next uh, piece, which is the 15 inch machine. Um, you'll find out that there are packages and what we're doing with the machine combos is if you buy a machine, we have selected frames that come with those for free. So if you buy like the Keenic 15M at the 34.99, $3,499, we are going to include the free Q-Zone, uh, the Q-Zone hoop frame or the Q-Zone Queen frame as a free frame for you for, for that, along with that purchase. Uh, the 19 is also on sale with a free frame. And then we have our 221s, our wonderful new 21 Pro machine uh, that launched earlier on um, in this year. And we have our Cuny 21 that's been with us for a couple of years. And those are some of the prices. So I would encourage you to look at what those are. And again, with questions, um, you can chat uh, on our website with open questions. Our account executives are really just here to help answer questions. I, I like to talk about this with Mark and his team is, you know, our goal is not to sell a good. Our goal is to help educate. And then if there's a product that helps you with some of the processes you're working through, um, we would hope to pair those uh, and help you understand what might help you uh, accomplish that the best. So uh, with that, maybe we'll go back. Um, and I'm going to kind of go back to Mark and Carla here. We're getting ready here in just a couple minutes to bring Leah Day on. Um, but with that, Carla, and I know that you didn't have a whole lot, but I'm pretty sure if I were to ask in the comments, how many UFOs, what is that? Unfinished objects. How many unfinished objects do you by chance have um, out there um, in the industry? So I would recommend, and I'm going to ask that you comment. I'm curious to see what everybody else comes up with. Uh, Carl, I'm going to kind of go over to you here for a second. Um, how many how do you have? I don't know, and that's an honest answer. Um, I, st you know, cultures get a little bored, so they need to move on to something else, and then they come back and finish it up. So that's just kind of the nature of the quilt <laughs> process as you're quilting. Um, right now, off the top of my head, one, two, three, four, probably seven, maybe more. <laughs> As I was digging around in my fabric trying to find my very first quilt that I ever quilted because I wanted to show that, um, I found a UFO that I started. I hadn't finished and I thought, hey, I really like these colors. I don't know why I didn't finish it. So I did pull it out. It's now sitting there waiting for me to work on it <laughs> when I find the time. So, yeah. So, yeah, Heather has a lot too. I know she's doing Yep, yeah, she does have a lot. <laughs> I don't have a lot. But yeah, in my house, you don't have a honey do list. Come on, that you yeah. started. My, my honey do list is to make sure I get the right tools <laughs> for for my wife. So uh, she does have a lot, um, and it's fun to see her go through it. And, and a lot of hers is from scraps too. Right. Like she made all these UFOs from scrap uh, scrap quilts. Um, they are, you know, they are they are uh, so fun to see and to get accomplished, and they're hard to accomplish. If you don't have the right tools, so. So we're gonna give a price for the one who has the most or the uh, least. Right now, right now, we're right now we're just looking at what people put up there. At yeah. least twenty. <laughs> awesome. So at least twenty. <laughs> well, thirty. Oh, Brenda wow. has thirty. That is. Three UFOs. That's that's a good amount. Yes. So I mentioned Pat. Eighteen with Pat. Pat. Yeah. Way to go, ladies. It means you're not bored. <laughs> and that's okay. Have all these UFOs. That is okay. Now let's just get maybe the right product to finish some of these UFOs, right? Six ready to put on the frame and quilt. Three in the piecing stage. Nice. There you go. I'm gonna bring myself. So uh, 
with that, uh, I just thought I would kind of come back. Again, you know, always fun to look at Carla. I know uh, Carla uh, would would be understating the amount of quilts that she does. She's always very passionate. She loves as we have a new product. What does that mean? And what quilt should we put on it for the next photo shoot? And we've got several new products coming up. And I'll tell you, she does an amazing job. And she's always always busy. And uh, you know, heading our education department with Carla. And I didn't really tell you much about both Mark and and Carla, but we're super excited about. Um, where we're trying to go as a business. And that really comes back to you as quilters. We know that we need to put more material together. We need more information, more education. You know, as part of Grace Company and one of our values that you're going to see more of, um, we have a couple things. And one is experience. Our, our goal is to provide you guys, the, the, you quilters, you ladies and gentlemen out there with an experience that would be unlike any other with any other brand. And um, Carla really tries to do that in bringing together and looking at the instruction side of things. Uh, she also creates a lot of the help and a lot of the informational documents that we do. And she's always the one asking, hey, have we had a chance to test this? Have we gone through these other processes? You know, what is the out of the box experience? You know, what will somebody do when they put this on their frame and how comfortable will they be if they buy a mid arm or a long arm or if they're going to use their domestic? Are we teaching them how to move that fabric across the hoop frame? So we're super excited about Carla being in charge of our education as we continue to build our business. Uh, Mark is in charge of all of our customer sales and relations for the entire company. And that's uh, both nationally and internationally. And um, we would encourage you if you're streaming with us internationally that you uh, go to the uh, find a grace uh, dealer or distributor in your area and give them a contact. You know, we have those in Canada, in the UK and Europe and Australia, even South Africa, New Zealand. Um, so we have dealers all throughout the world. And we'd encourage you to go to your local dealers to, to see what they can do and what kind of promotions they're offering for you as well. Um, we're encouraging always our international partners to help participate in some of the promotions that we have as well. So Mark's team deals with that, both our, our quilting products and our cutting products. And so, again, that's kind of a little bit of a, uh, another background history. Carla, um, you know, being really from the foundation of part of this business with her brother, Jim, uh, the owner, it's been a fantastic company to be a part of. And we're, again, appreciative of everybody um, who's here joining with us today. Uh, with us, what I'd like to do is I think it's okay if uh, Mark and Carla, I want to go ahead and talk and do a little bit of a bio on Leah Day. So I'm going to read part of what this is as we get prepared to introduce her and bring her uh, up online here and we'll, we'll look to do so. Again, I've, I've had a chance to, to meet with Leah Day several times in person. Um, she's always just super enthusiastic um, and it's one of those things where um, I'm pretty sure she'll talk about this in her story but you know as she continues to learn in this profession and, and part of what this is uh, one of the passions that she loves most is quilting is she really started in was looking at doing as much as she can to help those people that were following in her same footsteps. And so Leah, Leah Day, she's an online instructor and a quilting supply dealer. So she actually is a dealer as well. She shares her um, evolution or her story on the business that she's had within quilting. So from her beginnings, uh, her humble beginnings as a hobby quilter to competitive show quilting, uh, to grow a massive online quilt along following, which a lot of you probably, if I were to say, put your hand up. If you know Leah Day, we would put our hands up. Uh, so a great family, a wonderful following uh, to selling machines and frames. Um, her key to success remains being open to new ideas. And her story shows us um, that there is always an opportunity if you're looking, okay, and there's always room to grow as an individual. Um, and with that, what I'd like to do is we're just here just a couple minutes out. Um, what I'm going to put over here on the side is let's kind of go back to see if there are any questions that have come up here in the next just couple minutes um, regarding part of the fall fest or anything that we can help answer for you. A lot of people are commenting. Um, I see um, Ipul, yeah, yay, Leah. I love Leah from Lorette LaRose Crow. Um, uh, Judy DeLayet, Leah is the best and we're seeing a lot of support for Leah. So thank you very much. We we're glad to hear the wonderful support. Again, we've been very fortunate to, to know and, and have her as one of our ambassadors and have such an amazing relationship with her on those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kind of put the screen on pause. We're going to bring Leah. Now, again, she's provided us with, she's, I don't know if you know, incredibly busy. In fact, I spoke to her about a month ago, and I know she had already done over 30 videos this year. I asked her, and she told me one time, and she's like, I just stopped counting because there's just so much that she feels like she needs to do. Um, we asked if she could take some time aside to share this story with us, and so she was uh, very uh, kind in, in, in so doing, and so she was able to put together this, and we're going to play this video that she's been able to put together for us regarding her experiences 
as um, she's continued to move throughout her success. And I, I would love to say she's just one of the most honest people. Um, and she kind of calls things like they are. And she, she makes those statements. And um, as a business, you know, I would ask from the same thing from you saying that we would really love to hear your comments. We know that our our business would not be what it would be without uh, your your insights and your inputs as well. So again, we, we reach out to you, please. If you ever have information or comments, feel free to call us 1-800-264-0644. You can contact us at Grace Company. Um, let me go ahead and kind of put that up here just really quick so that everybody can see. Feel free to give us a call. Log on to our website um, is another great op op opportunity you can do to get in, in contact with us. But uh, we also have chat live. So throughout this event, if you have questions, um, our, we have live account executives prepared to help answer calls and, and be able to respond to your chat messages as well. 